And North Korea has confirmed its testing of what it claims was a new surface-to-sea missile Wednesday morning. Our defense correspondent Che min Jung has details. North Korea test-fired a new surface-to-sea missile on Wednesday morning under the supervision of its leader Kim Jong-un. The regime state-run Korean Central News Agency reported Thursday that Pyongyang test-launched its new missile named Padasuri-6. The missile reportedly flew for 1,400 seconds, a little over 23 minutes, over waters in the East Sea to hit a target. Considering the flight time, the missile is estimated to have flown around 200 kilometers. Experts believe the Padasuri-6 is an upgrade of North Korea's version of Russia's KH-35 Uran anti-ship missile. Following the North's report, South Korea's Joint Chiefs of Staff expressed confidence in countering North Korea's threats. Our military is thoroughly equipped to detect and intercept North Korea's missiles against South Korea. Kim also ordered a stronger military defense posture in waters north of South Korea's Yeonpyeong and Pyongyangdo Islands along the western maritime border. Kim's order comes as he accused South Korean warships of frequently invading its waters by defending the northern limit line, the de facto inter-Korean maritime border, which the regime does not recognize. The North Korean leader warned that Pyongyang would regard the South's violation as an infringement of its sovereignty and an act of military provocation, leading to the use of force. South Korea's military, however, reiterated that the NLL will remain unchanged. The NLL is our military's unchanging maritime border, and our military will be fully prepared to respond resolutely to any provocation. Seoul's military detected the latest launch at around 9 a.m. Wednesday. This is the regime's fifth cruise missile launch this year. Choi Min-jung, Arirang News.